Hello and welcome to Blockchain Gaming World with me, John Jordan. So in this video, we're going to have being, having a look at what's going on uh, with Gamer Pay. Um, so Gamer Pay is um, originally started out, and I guess majority still is a CS:GO skins trading site um, based out of uh, Denmark. Uh, nice chaps uh, had had a uh, met up with them a few times, um, and this is their first uh, NFT thing going on here. So so what's interesting here is. is you know, long backstory. You know, it's sort of interesting that, that NFTs are, very, you know, clearly are um, all about sort of blockchain assets, um, decentralized assets that you own. But if we think of sort of the nearest analogy to that, it's CS:GO skins. So CS:GO skins have been around for whatever a decade, um, and but basically all that happens is they run on on Valve's Steam platform. So you know, it's sort of open that you can have sort of API access, but there's always this sort of sort of problems with if you're not doing it on the Steam platform. Uh, but basically, Valve may makes whatever it makes. You know, a lot of money a year by allowing people to trade CS:GO skins, and these are just um, aesthetic items, cosmetic items in which you can um, change the look of your gun in CS:GO or or, or, or your knife. Um, I'm not an expert in that at all, but, but basically that's what's going on there. People are trading these for you know, certainly hundreds, um, thousands um, of dollars, and it's sort of funny um, that um, you know it's Valve Valve doesn't allow NFTs um, while it's running its own sort of centralized nft service i mean that's obviously i would imagine the reason it wants to control that market where it makes tons of money for not doing much work um, and nfts would sort of disrupt all that so anyway by the by so what's game of pay doing so game of pay so you can log in to this with steam and sell your csgo skins um, but now they're sort of branching into you know nfts and they're doing it in a very sort of sensible um way they're doing sort of game integrations um, so you can see here you know um it's just the website so i can go to csgo and i can see um you know what's going on here Various sort of um, uh, gloves as well. I forgot about uh, so various things going on there. If you want to, if you want to sell your skins, um, uh, your your non NFTs, <laughs> your your Valve based NFTs. Uh, but we're looking at uh, this game. So this is um, uh, I don't know if I guess it's uh, an EV EVIO. Um, it's basically a you know a, a web based first person shooter, um, and it has integrated uh, with Solana blockchain. So it has NFTs on the Solana blockchain, um, and if you buy um, an NFT. Um, and log into the account, you can then um, start earning Sol. Um, obviously, you have to be a skilled player. So, um, you know, for the likes of me, who's hopeless and going to, you know, probably not shoot anyone in this sort of <laughs> first-person shooter game, because I am, I am hopeless. Um, you know, probably, probably not the, the the game for me to be playing. But anyway, it's interesting. We're starting to see this ecosystem stuff building up. So, what they've got here, the game of pay is um, this is um, NIP uh, Ninjas in Pajamas. So, Ninjas in Pajamas, I'm sure most of you know. Um, is one of the sort of uh, better known esports teams, um, and uh, so this is this is um, sort of branded branded skins in the uh, EVO uh, game. So we can see here, uh, this is sort of like a, the first, this is the first drop they've done. So there's 275 have been uh, created. Looks like we've got uh, 114 still for sale. So they've sort of sold um, just over half. Um, and anything that's not burnt by the 1st of January, anything that's not sold by the 1st of January is going to get burnt. So, you know, these may sell out, they may not, who knows? I mean, they're 50 bucks. Um, so you're doing this, um, I think, uh, you're just with fiat. So I guess if you had credit in the system, you could do it that way. But this is not a crypto sort of first thing. This is this is basically, um, as far as I can understand it, game game of pay, basically saying, right, we have these people who are trading these game skins, cosmetic skins anyway. Let's try doing that with a with a blockchain game. And sort of bridge them. Can we get them playing? Um, uh, can we get them sort of playing in a blockchain game? Can we get them sort of owning NFTs in our in our backend? So this, um, so these are other EVO skins. So if you go to something like Fractal or um, I assume um, Magic Eden, I don't know, but I look at Fra Fractal seems to be the 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 sort of um, official uh, marketplace. So you have these other these are other skins for um, Eve. It's not Eve, is it? EVIO. So you have um, weapons and characters, or, or looks like, like a head here. Um, so these these are just um, th these are the game's NFTs. These, these are nothing to do um, with Game of Pay, but you can but, but you can basically use them as a marketplace here. You can see some of these are quite expensive. We can have a quick look if we go to Fractal. So this is Fractal, the um, Solana-based uh, NFT marketplace. Um, so we can see here this is the uh, you know the EVO. Um, it's actually owned by Enthusiast Gaming. Um, I can't remember what they, what they call Addicted Games. I think he's the developer. Um, so, and we can see here these are the uh, avatars. So, five ETH, not five ETH, five, five Soul. That's 60 bucks, um, which I think is 
sort of roughly roughly the sort of same price we're paying here. But anyway, the thing we're talking about now is these. So let's have a look at the, these um, these NFTs. Um, so the one thing I don't know actually is I know I, I'll, I'll do another video about this, but um. In EVIO, you, I think if you own a character, you can earn soul. I don't know if you just own a skin, you can earn soul. I guess you probably would, because otherwise, why would you own the NFT? So any N NFT ownership is um, uh, going to get you to, to, to you know, uh, be able to earn soul. So 50 euros, um, game node ID, I mean, it's a whole bunch of stuff. There's no power level faction. It's, it's sort of just the, the branding. Um, this, so this is, there's no earning that. Oh, that's interesting. So you maybe can't earn. Let's have a quick look actually before I do this then. Um, so if I look at this ghost, um, ah, so I can earn in this. So, so we start to see, so if you want to earn in the game, you basically have to buy a, a character um, and the, the um, looking like the weapons are not going to allow you to, uh, oh, so some of them are allow you to earn and some of them don't. Interesting. Okay. So um, is Mr. Pumpkinhead going to allow me to earn? Yes, it is. And we can see here, um, is the person who owns this item. Okay, so let's go through the um, the payment process. Um, <clears throat> so go to checkout. Um, so you can see here, this is the seller, is the uh, Ninjas in Pajamas skins official. Um, the delivery rate is okay. This is across, I guess, all the all the skins they do. So total trades 323 in the last 30 days. Um, so it's going to cost me $44 royalty. I guess he's going to probably ninjas in pajamas. There's a fee. Um, if I become an elite member of Gamer Pay, I don't pay the um, any fees. I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, so actually, I'm paying a little bit more than 50 bucks. Um, if, if I had a wallet, um, built-in wallet, um, then I would not be paying sort of credit card fees and stuff like that. So okay. And they're using this lemon way is the is the fee on Oh, so I could choose a wallet. Okay, so I need to have a wallet. Because um, it's an NFT, so it needs to deliver it to a wallet. So I'm going to you know, have any of these. These are Solana-based wallets. I've got a Phantom wallet. Um, so that's the one we're going to use. And I have to sign. So basically signing, um, logging into GamerPay. Um, with that. Okay, so this is interesting. And I guess this is sort of what happens um, when you're using sort of Web2 <laughs> sort of rail. So um, basically that um, has gone through. So I have a... I bought that. The um, uh, it's gone through on my card, and, and I had to sort of clear that through. Um, so the money's left my account, um, but because this is sort of I say this this I guess this sort of um, network is built for sort of CS:GO, where you have the person has to send it through. Whereas if it was a blockchain, it would be what we call an an, atom, an, an atomic transaction. So I would send the money, and I would get that NFT say back again as part of the same transaction. That's what they call an atomic transaction blockchain um this is a fiat system so there's not an atomic system because they're just not set up like that so we can see here um uh i don't think they've been <laughs> maybe maybe they're on holiday now because it's the whatever it is it's getting close to christmas um so the delivery time for for um for ninjas in pajama skins is is average four hours um and i'm not sure <laughs> not sure they're online so anyway um they've got my money and i um have to it's basically got an 18 hour sort of sort of um uh, period in which they have to sort of uh, sort, sort of send send this over to me. So so we'll wait to see. I guess I guess what happens. Um, I'm sure it will turn up, um, and then I can do a sort of video about what it looks like in the game. I suppose. Okay, that's, that's what we'll do. Um, so um, and we can actually see we can actually see here. So we can see here this number has now gone down. So it's 114 when I was doing the video, and now it's 113. So um, so, so in terms of like gamer pay. Um, the game of pay system has worked. <laughs> it's taken my money and made a um, sell order, and now we're sort of waiting for the um, for the ninjas in pajamas people to uh, you know wake up and get out of their pajamas. And uh, so we come back uh, the next day. Actually, it was a bit quicker than that, but um, I'm coming back to it the next day. We can see here the um, skin has been delivered. So that was uh, the seller um, ninjas in pajamas skins official um, delivery rate's got up to ninety percent um, delivery time four hours. So anyway. So I got um, my skin. Um, interestingly, I don't think I can currently sell it uh, in Gamer Pay. I think they're sort of um, locking them at the moment because obviously they are still selling them um, within. So we can see here, compared to yesterday, another one's been sold. So only 112 for sale, burn 1st of January. So um, only a, a week to go. Um, so obviously because they're still selling these for $50, they don't want people um, undercutting um, 
what they're selling for now. So obviously they don't want me to start selling it for $45 to get my money back. So so they're obviously locking it in terms of uh, not being able to sell this, um, which is interesting because I guess it is a uh, an NFT item. So maybe they're just blocking it on their interface anyway. Blah, blah, blah. I don't want to go into too much detail there. But the thing we can see now is if I go into my, if we go into my Evo account, um, so we go down here, we can see I've got my character skin here and we can also see I've got my, so now I can select that, my Ninjas in Pyjamas um, AR auto rifle. Um, so that is going to be there. Um, and let's see. Um, click to play. So there we go. So now I've got my, now I can die <laughs> as ever, as you see me playing in previous games. Um, but now I've got my uh, cool rifle. Oh, he's throwing grenades at me. Oh, uh, there we go. Shot. Um, uh, I guess. I'm going to get him. He can't see me. Oh, no. He can see. Uh, there we go. Oh, there is. He's still alive. Okay, I'm not earning anything yet. This is the thing. I'm going to see if I keep playing and see if I can earn anything. I'm going to fall off the side of the map. That's no good. Um, cool map. Uh, but I remember, I don't I think I, I don't earn anything more by having this um, skin. So it's just a cool looking skin. It doesn't. I think if I go here, I can change guns. Um, so now I can change to the rocket launcher, which may be a bit more like my forte. Don't know. Oh, I think I blew myself up. Anyway, you get the idea. Um, so there we go. So there are um, NFTs are now uh, coming into uh, EVIO, and obviously, you know, the interesting thing here is that GamerPay have sort of come up with their own integration. Um, into this. This is not coming through EVIO itself. So you're starting to see that sort of thing where there's a base game and then other people can obviously, obviously create um, NFTs um, and the, that now are sort of interoperable um, in, in the... In the uh, in, oh, I did earn. So I've earned six. There we go. I've earned six, uh, <laughs> six E's, uh, 0 0.0001. How many zeros is that? Soul. So remember, I need to earn a thousand of these in order to cash out, and if I cashed out, I get 0.1 soul, um, which would be about a dollar. So basically, I need to I need to um, buy some more NFTs and get better at this game. Anyway, we won't go on that. So anyway, um, good to see that's working. Um, thanks for watching the video. Um, see you next time.